Hi, I'm James Wu, endocrine surgeon at the UCLA Endocrine Center. We perform hundreds of thyroid operations every year, and one of the most common things we talk to patients about is the risks of thyroid surgery. The complication rates from thyroid surgery are low, and the surgery is safe overall. However, we take this surgery very seriously, and we do everything we can to keep the complication rate as low as possible. The first risk is having a hoarse voice after surgery. This happens when the recurrent laryngeal nerve, the nerve that controls your vocal cords, gets irritated during the surgery. This nerve is located behind the thyroid gland, so it might get pulled on or pinched as removing the thyroid. This only happens 5% of the time, or about one out of every 20 operations. These 5% of patients will have a hoarse voice after surgery, but it does get better on its own with time. In 0.5% of cases, or one out of every 200 operations, the nerve is injured to the point where it does not recover. In these situations, the voice can be made normal again with other procedures. Our complication rates are low because our surgeons focus on thyroid disease and perform a high number of thyroid operations. In certain cases, we will also use a device called a nerve monitor. This is a machine we have in the operating room that shows us where the nerve is when it can't clearly be seen and also tells us when the nerve is healthy and working. The second major risk is injury to the parathyroid glands. The parathyroid glands are four small glands, usually the size of a grain of rice, that are stuck to the four corners of the thyroid gland. When we remove the entire thyroid gland, there's a 1% chance that the parathyroid glands will be removed or lose their blood supply and become unhealthy. When this happens, and it happens about one out of every 100 people, those patients don't make enough parathyroid hormone. Since this controls blood calcium levels, having not enough parathyroid hormone causes blood calcium levels to be too low, and patients need to take calcium supplements after surgery. The third risk is needing to take thyroid hormone after surgery. When we remove half of the thyroid gland, four to six out of every 10 people may need thyroid hormone medication afterwards. If we remove the entire thyroid, then you will definitely need to take thyroid hormone. In general, there are no major side effects from thyroid hormone and people feel well when they're on the right dose. Finally, there are some risks that are part of any surgery. There is a chance that the cut could become infected and need treatment with antibiotics. There's also a chance that there could be minor bleeding that happens after surgery. These both happen in less than one out of every 100 people who have thyroid surgery. Now every surgery has possible risks, including thyroid surgery. At the UCLA Endocrine Center, we want you to be informed about the risks and we will do everything we can to minimize them. For more information or to schedule a consultation, please visit our website or call our office. I'm Dr. James Wu, thanks for watching.